Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for another men's TFC men's home basketball game today. They take on Carolina Christian College, which is the team they faced earlier this season. It was the first the season opener. They won by 50. The score was 50 something like 112 to 59. Got a little bit more depth this time. They got eight players as opposed to just six the last time they played. So starting lineup mostly the same. The only difference, Xavier Todd, it is now starting number zero. Kobe Comer is out of the starting lineup. He will come off the bench tonight. But otherwise, you got Anthony Williams, Treshawn Wilson, Josh Parker, and Tariq Perry to round out the starters. Of course, Carolina Christian College has uh, Chris Chamberlain, a former TFC basketball player. Number zero. And there's not even an attempt as Tariq Perry with the easy w win on the tip. And we are underway in this one. And that pass was taken away by Rob Murdoch. That's double zero, not number zero. There's a zero and a double zero out there. And that's Rob Murdoch attacking, giving it up. And that was... Deshaun George, who scores the first basket of the game inside. And that's Treshawn Wilson in the corner for three. It's good. The Screaming Eagles are on the board. And again, full court pressure. It's been a something that Coach Summers has done here with the Screaming Eagles. And that's Rob Murdoch. Oh, nice behind the back move. And that shot was tightly contested. Might have been Tariq Perry getting his hand on it. Treshawn Wilson out ahead. This is Anthony Williams for three. That's no good. But Tariq Perry skies for the offensive rebound, but puts it down low. It's taken away by Chris Chamberlain. And that pass almost knocked away. It is taken away by Josh Parker. Gives it up. Xavier Todd draws the foul. He'll get two free throws. First free throw from Xavier Todd is short. It's no good. Makes the second one. He goes one for two. Four two. That's his first point of the game. Attacking inside, that pass, Deshaun George lost it. Inside, that's Murdoch. Murdoch draws the foul. It'll be two free throws. Misses the first one. Makes the second one, though, so he splits the pair, going one for two. Here's Xavier Todd out top. 1-3-1 one, one defense. 
from Carolina Christian College is Anthony Williams with the corner three. It's good. Solved his last time these two met was a lot of zone. It was 2-3 mostly, but this is 1-3-1. One, one. Inside, that's good. Kareek Dragons with the easy short jumper. Trying to go to Tariq Perry. Caught it. He's going to have to dribble that back out, though. Josh Parker, Todd, Indu, Anthony Williams in the corner attacking. Out to Josh Parker. He's wide open. Oh, he can't finish it, but Tariq Perry skies in for the offensive rebound and the putback. Got him. This is a nice little double team trapping the corner, but Chris Chamberlain able to get out of it. And now he's trying to go coast to coast. He does count the basket and one. So what looked like could have been trouble ends up in a possible three-point play for Chris Chamberlain as he was able to go right through Tariq Perry and Josh Parker and Score, get the and one. And he completes the three-point play. That's the former Screaming Eagle right there with the three-point play. And Josh Parker, shot no good. Fight for the rebound, and it's Chamberlain who ultimately comes down with it. Inside, Deshaun George. We're going to Tariq Perry and scores. That's a big bully ball bucket right there. And this is Josh Parker coming back the other way. Xavier Todd into Tariq Perry. He's double teamed. They're going to find Treshawn Wilson, the short jumper. No good. Tariq Perry had the rebound, missed the shot, goes out to Wilson. He misses it. And again, three opportunities for the Screaming Eagles, unable to capitalize on them. And that pass inside to Chamberlain. Goes up and under, lays it up and in. A great start offensively for Carolina Christian College. And it's a new look team. And finally they get a timeout called. And I mean... We're about four minutes in. Screaming Eagles trail 12 to 9. Back out of the timeout. It's a great start offensively for the for um, Carolina Christian College. Out of the timeout, Anthony Williams can't hit the shot. Treshawn Wilson fighting hard, but unable to get a basket. How about that? Rob Murdoch is all by himself, and that's going to be a goaltending as it hit the backboard first. So that basket will, in fact, count. It's a good attempt, but it was clearly goaltending. Screaming Eagles look a little bit out of sync here. Wilson can't hit the shot. That's going to be close. They're going to say it's off of Tariq Perry. And it'll go the other way. Kobe Comer subbing in for Xavier Todd. It's the first substitution of the game. I'm looking for uh, TFC to settle into this game. And this is some pressure here. Inside, taken away by Kobe Comer. And Kobe Comer inside. Perry lost it. Gathers it. Oh, he can't finish. 
Another look inside, but unable to put it in the hoop. So, not a great start offensively for the Screaming Eagles. Yeah, cross court now. Deshaun George for three as well. Short, but he's going to grab his own rebound. Dribbles inside. Nice behind the back move. Oh, and he lays it up and in. Going to go inside. Treshawn Wilson. A lot of contact, but nothing was called. Williams inside. Oh, he can't finish, but he does get a foul, so he will get two free throws. And he makes the first one. And we're going to see Ramad Godfrey check in. Call him Big Mod. He's checking in. At least in these home games, we haven't seen him yet this season. I'm trying to figure out who he checked in for. It looks like Tariq Perry giving him a break. Misses the second one, so he goes one for two at the line. Top now. This is Rob Murdoch out top. Ten of the shot clock, tried to get it inside, but turned it over. Here's the Screaming Eagles come back the other way. That's Kobe Comer for three. No good. Had a good look, though. You hope they start settling in and hit those. In transition, that three is short. And that's Josh Parker grabbing the rebound. And Parker's going to get a screen from Ramon Godfrey. He'll shoot a three off the screen. That's good. Down just three, 16-13. Carolina Christian College leads about uh, six and a half minutes into this game. And it's and that shot from three is good. Eli Gibbs with the answer. I think they called that a two, though. Gibbs, or I mean Parker rather. I don't know why I said that. Uh, that's Williams in the corner for three. That's good. Looks like the Screaming Eagles are starting to heat up. Attacking inside. Well, a little bit of contact, but nothing is called. Ball is loose. It'll be Carolina Christian College getting another possession. Rob Murdoch in the corner. That's good. And that's what happens when you don't rebound, folks. Carolina Christian College wants a timeout with 12.37 left to go in the first half. Trail, Screaming Eagles trail 21-16. We're out of the timeout. They made a substitution change here. Jeremiah Williams is now in the game. Ramon Godfrey has come out of the game. So Here's Anthony Williams in the middle. Tried to dribble in the middle, but couldn't. 
go through traffic as he turns the ball over. And a foul is going to be called. Be a sideline inbound as that was on the floor. They're out top. Pull up jumper. No good. Treshawn Wilson the rebound. And Parker to Wilson to Williams. Back to Wilson. Back to Parker. Inside the floater is good from Josh Parker. And Chris Chamberlain, former Screaming Eagle, will set up the offense for Carolina Christian College. The Centurions, he missed the layup. He had a good look inside, but he couldn't finish. Parker, transition three. That's good. Josh Parker is heating up and starting to take over this game. To get it, able to get it across half court, Murdoch. Spinning, gets it out to Eli Gibbs. That jumper as well, short. Murdoch had it and is fouled before out of the shot. So be it an inbound underneath. Tariq Perry's back in the game. Jordan Guthrie will check in for the first time. And Wilson, I guess, will check in as well. I didn't know he came out, but Jeremiah Williams will sit as well as uh, I don't know who else. So Josh Parker is out. The hot hand. Chamberlain in trouble. I think he might have gotten away with the travel there. Rob, Mur Rob, Mur Rob Murdoch with five on the shot clock. Attacks inside and somehow manages to score. And Kobe Comer gives up to Guthrie. Inside Wilson, into the corner. Williams, pull up jumper, that's good. And Chamberlain, he steps out of bounds, that's a turnover. So we're reaching the, uh, you know, the halfway point of this uh, first half. Going to go to Wilson. Kobe Comer for three. That's good. Green Eagles get the lead back. Timeout. Carolina Christian College at about the halfway point with 10 minutes left to go in the first half. Screaming Eagles lead 26 to 23. So out of the timeout, Screaming Eagles up six. They get it in. Now they got to get back defensively. And they do, and that's a tough shot. It's no good. Comer seals in the quarter for Guthrie. No good. And that's Tariq Perry 
Drawing the foul in the offensive rebound. He'll get two free throws. He missed the first one. He missed them both. A nice little back door cut there and able to finish it. They will call a late foul. Count that basket and one. He makes it, completes the three-point play, ties this game up at 26. Nine and a half to go, it's K.J. Seals. Dribbling up the court. Kobe Comer thought about a shot. Goes back to Seals, though, and Seals will reset. In the corner, Kobe Comer. This time he will shoot a three. He won't hit it, though. It's in, it's uh, Mrs. Long that time. It's Carolina Christian College getting the weak side rebound. Inside, Deshaun George in trouble, had to take it away. It ends up in the hands of Kobe Comer. And his, his ball is poked out from behind, but it's saved by Trick Perry, an excellent hustle. And Jordan Guthrie had it knocked away. Rob Murdoch with the steal. Chris Chamberlain, here's Rob Murdoch for three. That's good. And Carolina Christian College gaining the lead back. So back and forth so far. Kobe Cover seals. And that's uh, Anthony Williams trying to respond, unable to do so. And Chamberlain, the transition three. No good. That's Kobe Comer with the rebound. Hawk, or Seals gives it up. Kobe Comer can't hit it. Anthony Williams saves it. Jordan Guthrie now. Kobe Comer thought about it. Gives it up. Seals. Step back jumper. Tightly contested. It's no good. Ball doesn't hit rim. So Kobe Comer gets the offensive rebound. Shot clock not resetting. And he is unable to hit that three. A lot of chances once again. CFC unable to capitalize. That's Deshaun George. What a move, but just can't quite finish. In transition, Jordan Guthrie in the corner all alone. He hits it. Ties this game right back up at 29 with just under seven left to go in this first half. It is Chris Chamberlain attacking. Tough bucket. Count it and one. And that was against Tariq Perry. He's got a much a, the size advantage there. Able to get the basket and the foul. So substitutions will be made. Xavier Todd checking in for Kobe Comer. He'll be back in the game now. Um, Treshawn Wilson is back in the game. As well as we are going to see Artsim Ryzenkin check in for the first time. As we're seeing Jordan Guthrie 
Kobe Comer, and that free throw is no good. So Chris Chamberlain not able to complete the three-point play, but we'll see Jordan Guthrie, Kobe Comer, and K.J. Seals go back to the bench. No, sorry, Jordan Guthrie's still out there. In fact, shoots the three and it makes it. That's back-to-back -back threes from him. Gives the Screaming Eagles a one-point lead. So Tariq Perry would be the other player heading to the bench. And that three is up, and it's no good. Xavier Todd, Artis Zimbra Zenkin inside. He's got a massive size advantage. He's able to draw the foul. Six foot eight from St. Petersburg, Russia. I haven't seen a whole lot of them in these two. Uh, Home games, but we'll get two free throws here. Missed the first one. And Josh Parker's back in the game for Anthony Williams. He missed them both. Rob Murdoch in trouble. Had it knocked away, taken away by Jordan Guthrie. Parker, the transition three. In and out. And that's Treshawn Wilson. The rebound, the shot is good. Attacking inside, going under, up and under. That's no good. And Xavier Todd is fouled in transition by Deshaun George. It should be on the floor. I believe that's number five. It is the fifth team foul. So it'll just be a short little sideline inbound. Carolina Christian is in the bonus. TFC is just one foul shy. That's a turnover. Goes right through the hands of Treshawn Wilson. In transition, gives it up to Chamberlain. Missed it. But Carolina Christian College will get another chance here. And Rob Murdoch's shot is no good. And Rob Murdoch, though, the steal. Might have got away with the travel, but it's not called. Inside, able to draw the foul. Count that basket. Another and one. Kareek Dragons. The one able to score and draw the foul. Completes the three-point play. It ties this game at 34, with just under five left to go in the first half. Guthrie for three. No good. Made two in a row previously. For three, that's Chamberlain. That's good. Tough three, but able to knock it down. They're able to get the lead back. Still, it's been a back and forth. Very entertaining first half. Wilson. Parker. Back to Xavier Todd. Jordan Guthrie in the corner for Wilson. Wilson a th look for three. No, ball is tapped out. Chris Chamberlain able to hustle down the rebound. And Chamberlain, 4-3, that one is short. And Treshawn Wilson 
grabbing the rebound. And Xavier Todd, Arden Rice, head kick. Oh, that's unfortunate. He ran into his own man, which forced him to travel. So it's a turnover, which otherwise would have been an easy layup. Jordan Guthrie will check out. Santi Smith checking in for the first time. Or Tim Rizentkin checking out. Anthony Williams checking back in. Uh. Here's Carolina Christian College back the other way. Thought about a three. Back and forth now. Attacking baseline. Tough shot. It's no good. Ball doesn't hit rim, though. Oh, they say it does. Okay, okay, yeah. So that's what is going to be the call here. The ball never hit rim as well. Carolina Christian College is trying to argue the other way around, but it did not look like it hit rim, at least from my perspective. So the question is, how many seconds are you going to put on the shot clock? Oh, they're going to call a shot clock violation. So the ball never hit rim, which in that situation, the clock never re the clock does not reset. And that's what they're calling. They're saying that there's only a few seconds left anyway, so they are going to call it a shot clock violation. Anthony Williams, Parker, Wils er, Todd giving it inside to Wilson. Draws the foul, count the basket, and one. Completes the three-point play. We're all tied at 37. 2.45 left to go in this first half. And that shot is good. From three. The answer right back. This is Todd attacking inside, going up and under, and he got it to go. Tough move, but able to nag it through for two. Got two minutes left in this first half. Screaming Eagles down one, 40 to 39 the score. Five on the shot clock. Gets a shot off. It's no good. Josh Parker in transition. Xavier Todd. Nice little Euro step. Able to lay it up and in. In the corner for three. It's short. And Parker... Grabbed it, almost turned it over, but Anthony Williams able to corral it. Santi Smith for three, it's off. Yeah, we are down to the final minute of the first half. Gonna hold it now. Ten on the shot clock. Good luck there from Kenny or from Tariq Groggins, but the shot is no good. Timeout with Coach Summers with 45.9 left to go in the first half. Screaming Eagles lead 41 to 40.
out of the timeout. Screaming Eagles up one, 41-40 with 45.9 left to go in the first half. And a 2-3 defense, that's Carolina Christian College. Look at the clock, 10 on the shot clock, they have to go. Ryan Landers gets it inside. Anthony Williams missed it, follows his own miss though and taps it up and in. And it's gonna be a delay of game warning on Anthony Williams. Did a little, maybe did just a little bit too much after scoring that basket. 16 seconds left, shot clock is off. And a little bit of full court pressure, but got to get it across half, and they do. But, of course, Carolina Christian College can hold for the final shot, and it looks like they obviously will. And Kareek Roggins is fouled. They're going to call that ball on Ryan Landers. And this will be a one-and-one. One. This is the seventh team foul. This will be with 1.4 left on the clock in the first half. Makes the first one. It's a one and one, so we will get the second one. Goes one for two. That's knocked out of bounds by Chris Chamberlain with point one. So I imagine Scream Eagles will just inbound it here and take it to the locker room. Not much really can do. And they will. And that will take us to the end of the first half. Screaming Eagles, it's back and forth, but the Screaming Eagles come out. They lead 43-41. to 41.
We're getting about ready to start of the second half. Um, Screaming Eagles, it was a back and forth. Screaming Eagles up by two, 43-41 the score. Carolina Christian College will start off with possession in the second half. And we are officially underway in the second half. So this will be the last guys home game of, uh, I forgot to mention, of this semester. Next home game is until January 20th, though so it's a while. And that pass taken away by Tariq Perry. And Parker now. To Williams. Williams for three. That's good. First basket of the second half. Here's Chris Chamberlain back the other way. Chamberlain, fourth, dribbled inside. Gives it up to Chamberlain, back inside now. Inside, Sean George, that's no good. Going through a lot of contact. That's Anthony Williams. No good. Ball tapped out into the hands of Chris Chamberlain. And Chamberlain going one-on-one -on -one against Josh Parker coast to coast but can't finish. Parker for three. No good. Anthony Williams skies in for the rebound. Had it knocked away. And it will stay with the Screaming Eagles. Josh Parker. Anthony Williams back to Parker. Back to Todd for three. No good. Anthony Williams hustles for the offensive rebound. Able to draw the foul. It'll be on the floor. They do call it a shooting foul. Interesting call here. He missed the first one. And he makes the second one. He goes one for two at the line. It's Carolina Christian College back the other way. Here's Chris Chamberlain attacking the middle. Got it to go. Wow. Look at Xavier Todd. A lot of, that was a really tough shot. Tightly contested shot. Able to get it to go. He had the Screaming Eagles first basket. Here's Treshawn Wilson. Out to Parker. Anthony Williams attacking. Can't finish. Tariq Perry gets the offensive rebound. He has it knocked away. Out of bounds. We'll save with the Screaming Eagles. That's a Perry. Wilson inside to Tariq Perry. Going baseline. Can't finish. And again, it will stay with the Screaming Eagles. Parker. Gets to Wilson in the corner for three. That's good. Here's Chris Chamberlain. Driving inside. Can't finish. Inside, Perry in transition. He can't finish. But Treshawn Wilson there for the follow in the tip-in. 
Again, TFC up by nine now. Breaking the press. In the corner for three. That's good. Timeout, Carolina Christian College. Screaming Eagles lead with 52-46. to 46, With 16-46 left to go in the game. Out of the timeout. Screaming Eagles up by six, 52 to 46. Xavier Todd, Wilson, the jumper, short. Tariq Perry trying to draw the foul. They're going to call that a jump ball. That'll stay with the Screaming Eagles. Go out to Trey Sean Wilson. Almost turned it over, but it somehow ends up in the hands of Josh Parker. Gives it to a cutting Xavier Todd, who finishes with a strong bucket. Rob Murdoch. Chamberlain inside. Pump fake, but he can't finish. Carolina Christian College wants a gold 10. That's Perry running the floor and laying it up and in. So that makes it a 10 point game lead for the Screaming Eagles, 56-46. And a foul is called on Anthony Williams. So Carolina Christian College with the sideline inbound. They go inside. Oh, a turnover. It is off of the Carolina Christian College. Screaming Eagles. We're coming up on five minutes, four and a half minutes into gone in this second half. Screaming Eagles lead by 10, 56-46. Anthony Williams finishes the wide open layup off the cut. Kareem Groggins lost it, turnover. And Parker, Wilson, and Xavier Todd attacking. No good. Gets his own miss. Puts it up and in. And the Screaming Eagles are starting to expand their lead. Up to 14 points now. Go inside. Rob Murdoch. A tough basket. And a much needed one. And it's good. And Parker for three. That's good. 
He answers right back. Timeout is called with 14, 19 left to go in the first second half. Screaming Eagles lead 63 to 48. Out of the timeout. Screaming Eagles have opened this game up after being up by just three at halftime. They are up by 12, 15 now. Rob Murdoch poked away from behind. Anthony Williams gives it up as it's Trick Perry to Anthony Williams. Count the basket and one. And he completes a three-point play. This Carolina Christian College back the other way. Rob Murdoch. A travel going to be called. Turnover. Josh Parker in the corner. Anthony Williams, that shot's way off. He's feeling himself. Inside, that shot is good. Trayshawn Wilson, 4-3, no good. Tapped out by Tariq Perry, but it goes right to Chris Chamberlain. Pull up three in transition. That's good. Maybe some momentum brewing here. Parker. That's good. Answers right back. Momentum stopped. And that nearly taken away by Tariq Perry. And they're going to go for the home run pass here. That's Chris Chamberlain able to get up and score. So that's just a great play, a defensive breakdown for the Screaming Eagles. Chris Chamberlain able to get the home run pass. Parker, Kobe Cober, 4-3, it's short. In transition, lost the handle, a turnover. Here's Kobe Comer out top. Trying to run a pick and roll action. 
with Trig Perry, but he lost the handle and turned it over. Coming back now the other way. Attacking against Tariq Perry. Goes inside, scores. And Josh Parker, 4-3. No, good. Tariq Perry unable to save it. Trashawn Wilson back in the game. Tariq Perry will sit. Coming back the other way. Inside, pass was tipped. Opposite, 4-3, good! So it's a single, back to single digits. Carolina Christian College responding pretty well. Trayshawn Wilson answers back with the mid-range jumper. 71-60, the Screaming Eagles lead, coming up on 11 minutes left in the second half. Inside, that little pump fake fades away and can't hit it. So Trey Sean Wilson, the rebound. And it's Kobe Comer. Jordan Guthrie attacking. Wilson, give it up to Kobe Comer. Back to Williams for three. No good. And it goes over the backboard. That'll be out of bounds. Here's Chris Chamberlain now. Attacking. Inside, that's good. There's Anthony Williams. Transition. Ball up jumper, that's good. Timeout, Coach Summers. Calls one for the Screaming Eagles. With 10 on 9 left to go, Screaming Eagles lead 73 to 62. Well, Screaming Eagles out of the timeout. Up 11 at the halfway point of the second half. And this is Ramad Godfrey. It's acting inside against Ramad Godfrey. Finishes. Gets it back down to single digits. Parker. Wilson for three. No good. And that's tapped out of bounds off of Ramad Godfrey. It'll go the other way. No, a foul's going to be called on Ramad Godfrey over the back. Or pushed in the back. Here comes Carolina University the other way. Twenty three inside. For three. No good. Tariq or 
Anthony Williams in the corner. How about that? That was Jordan Guthrie who missed a shot, but Treshawn Wilson able to get the tap in and the foul for the and one. Completes the three-point play. Makes that a 12-point game. And Chamberlain picked up his dribble. Or no, he didn't. Chamberlain attacking. Draws the foul. They're going to call that on Ramon Godfrey. This is the first one. This is a both. And Josh Parker lost it. Somehow got it to go. Wow. An acrobatic basket. In transition. Tough basket. Goes around Ramon Godfrey and finishes. And Parker. Williams. 4-3. No good. That'll go at the top of the backboard. And it will be Carolina Christian Ball. Xavier Todd back in. Ramon Godfrey will check out. Here's Chris Chamberlain now. They go inside. In trouble. Gets out of it. Has it blocked. Xavier Todd blocking the shot. And Jordan Guthrie, the transition three, it's well short. Xavier Todd had the rebound, but he was out of bounds. And uh, Carolina Christian College come back the other way. Inside. Good pass. Oh, but he can't finish. Up 12 on the Screaming Eagles. Anthony Williams lost it. Trying to tip it back in. Tips it back in again. Third time's the charm. He gets the two points. And again, can't finish. But the Screaming Eagles, man, some of these press, sometimes they fall asleep a couple times. And Xavier Todd will be called for a travel. Kobe Comer. Tariq Perry back in the game. Jordan Guthrie, Josh Parker out of the game. Side, drawing the foul. They're going to call out Treshawn Wilson. That'll be two free throws. Yeah. 
Makes the first one. He makes them both. 80 to 68. Screaming Eagles lead. Just under seven left to go in the game. Kobe Culver attacking inside. Turn around the fade as well. Short. Oh! A foul is going to be caught on Tariq Perry and pushing the back. So the basket will not count. Murdoch gives it up with eight on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock now. They got to shoot it. Lost it. Oh, they're going to call a foul. A late one. I, I don't know who they're going to call it on. Let's see. Very late call. They do call it on Tariq Perry, a blocking foul. So it's going to be two free throws for Rob Murdoch. Makes the first one. And Josh Parker is uh, back in the game for Tariq Perry. Makes them both. It's a 10 point game. Six minutes remaining. Screaming Eagles up 10, 80 to 70. The long two, it's good for Treshawn Wilson. Good move. Oh, he turned it over. Right to the hands of Josh Parker. For three. No good. And let it sail out of bounds. It'll be Carolina Christian College ball. Rob Murdoch attacking inside. In trouble. Can't finish. And Williams for three in transition. That's good. Five minutes remaining. Attacks inside. In the corner for three. Can't answer. Offensive rebound. Can't hit that. TFC right here can possibly. Interesting call there. They say it was out off of Carolina Christian College. A very interesting call. I don't know about that call. Anthony Williams misses a three. Chamberlain for three. Oh, it's in and out. Treshawn Wilson for three. Good. Makes it an 18 point game. Four minutes left to go. Timeout, Carolina Christian College. 4.03 left to go. Screaming Eagles lead 88 to 70.
out of the timeout. The Scream Eagles pretty much feels like they've blown this game open. Up 18. Four minutes remaining in the game. Chamberlain out. The three, that's good. And it's definitely needed. It, it um, puts the Screaming Eagles lead down to 15. Parker. Inside now, Wilson, the fade, no good. Anthony Williams trying to tap it in a couple times, unable to do so. Here's Chris Chamberlain. Lost it. Going inside. Murdoch able to finish. Down to 13, but the Screaming Eagles still only three minutes left. And this is Xavier Todd able to score on the other end. Side, able to finish reverse side. Impressive move for the big fella. Two and a half minutes. Josh Parker for three. And that's Anthony Williams with the bat steal in the backcourt and the finish. Attacking, spin move inside, can't finish. And a foul going to be called. 2.03 left to go. And the Screaming Eagles look like they more than have this game wrapped up. Up 15, a bounce back from their loss on Friday. Their next home game is not until January 20th. That's a long time. Of course, the girls have a game tomorrow, 5 o'clock. They'll take on Payne College right here. Got two minutes left in this one, and the Screaming Eagles looking to just close it out. Xavier Todd, a turnover. And a foul called by on Josh Parker. That's a seventh team foul, so it's going to be a one-and-one one for Rob Murdoch. Misses it, but gets his own rebound somehow and lays it up and in. Let's take a look at their schedule. Don't have a home game for a while. Wednesday, they'll play at Voorhees. They'll head to Campbellsville. They'll play that them as well as Campbellsville. Harrodsburg, that three is good. Couple exhibition games. Long time before their next home game, which is January 20th against Pensacola Christian College. And And the first one is good. Makes the second one. And they foul. Still down 14, and that's plenty of fouls left to give. There's 108 left to go in the game. Oh, 
Trying to get it in. Tough. Take it away. Rob Murdoch. The clock is not running right now. And a foul is going to be called. Now, it'll be free throws from here on out now. We'll get it into Williams. One minute remaining in this one, and the Screaming Eagles have this all but wrapped up. And Williams attacking. Williams trying to get inside, lost it, out of bounds, goes the other way. And trying to go for the home run pass, able to do so, and they score. Carolina Christian College wants a timeout. They're down 13 with 40.9 left to go. And to get some full court pressure. And they got another steal. Can't finish, though. And that's Ryan Landers who gets fouled. And that might have to be a technical. And it is. A little bit of unnecessary anger. Just throws the ball at the bleachers. And I wonder what the refs are discussing here. It's clearly a technical. I mean, I don't know what else you're going to say about that. It was, and it's towards the crowd. I mean, that's a danger to some of these players. And I wonder if they're talking about... My question is, I think that maybe they're talking, looking at a possible ejection here. I, I, I don't know. But... Clearly a technical, well, or maybe they're just discussing the details of this. I don't think he'll get thrown out. Just a technical. So it should be, what it should be is two technical free throws plus a one and one. Makes the first one. Makes them both, the technical free throws. And now Ryan Landers will shoot a one and one. Makes the first of the one and one. I think he'll get, he'll get a second one. He makes them both with 35 
seconds left. Chris Chamberlain will fire away a three. Out of bounds. And Landers will score. And well, I think Carolina Christian College is ready to call it a game. And they will just dribble the clock out, and that will take us to the end. Screaming Eagles are going to win by fifth, or by 16, rather. They win. Final score. It's 99-83. We hit the final horn. Screaming Eagles take over in the second half. That's all from you today, from me today. Be sure to check in the game tomorrow at 5 o'clock.